Okay, I'm just getting ready to run up the Generac 4000 EXL generator on propane. I did the conversion a little bit differently than what most people would do. There were two different types of conversions. Um, this type of conversion uh, is the IMCO 2F256 button. And normally uh, what you would do is you would take the carburetor apart, drill out the jet and epoxy this thing in. But that's a dedicated setup. Once you do that, it basically destroys the carburetor's ability to ever run on gasoline again. I wanted to do a uh, dual fuel setup so I could still run on gasoline, although there's nothing in the tank and the uh, valve is shut off. Normally with those uh, dual or tri-fuel conversions, they give you a little donut shaped device that would go between the air filter and the uh, carburetor itself right there. However, um, on some of these uh, generators, uh, what it does is it'll push the air cleaner out a little further. I don't think it's a problem on this one, but I've seen some generators, uh, such as the Champion, where if you installed a donut conversion, it would push the air filter housing against the frame, and on some generators, they you have to cut cut the frame and modify it to make room for it. So what I decided to do is uh, I drilled a hole through the air cleaner housing on this generator and I used the 2F256 spud in and I just threaded it into the hole I made and tightened the jam nut there and the tip of it just rests right in front of the opening to the carburetor. So the carburetor is still the same. The only thing I modified is the air cleaner slightly. So I'll um, put, put the air filter and the baffle back on and we'll get ready to run. Okay, I put the air filter and the air cleaner cover back in. Here's the end of the spud in and you can see the screw for adjusting the fuel mixture. Hose for the propane goes up and over the frame into this. And this is the key to every propane conversion, the demand regulator, or sometimes called the KN regulator. And what this does is it senses the vacuum that's being drawn by the engine and adjusts the fuel flow accordingly. And when the engine's off, it shuts off the flow of the fuel. And we have an elbow comes up here through this uh, th 3 8 uh, hose. And then I'm using a Marshall 290 two-stage propane regulator. Got the first stage to bring the tank pressure down to like 10 PSI. Then this second stage is what reduces it to the 11 inches water column that the KN regulator or any other propane appliance would operate on. And then this is just a 20 pound Blue Rhino barbecue propane tank. So I guess we'll go for a start. Oh, I have to rig an external battery because the battery that came with the generator is dead and uh, looks like you have to remove the fuel tank to take that out. Okay, so you open the propane tank. On the Garrison KN, we have this uh, primer button. And that's to prime the engine. Put the switch and run. No choke.
governor a little. 